All right. Welcome. This is Doc's Office Hours. It's the 5th of April, 2021. Let's, I propose we take two agenda topics, at least, She Code Africa Contributhon status and the search report from the plugin site. Any other topics you'd like to include on the list, Meg? Sounds good to me. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, I take it back. I've got one more blog post draft. Um, and that's a topic for me. I've started it, but I need some more, some more biographies and pictures. All right. So first share, Meg, I think this is mostly in your voice. Share uh, what your observations were from the first session held today, roughly 15 or 16 hours ago. Ah, gee, time flies. Um, it sounds good. Everybody, everybody says they're doing okay. I guess we just have one person who's up to the point of doing PRs, right? Um, okay, so first question for me was, did you have five attending? How many yes, people? Yes, we attended? did. Um, five attended. Um, Lucy was a little bit late. Something I didn't quite understand that she'd had trouble getting into the meeting and was unable to get into the kickoff meeting last week. And I don't quite understand what it was because she did get into this one. So, but she apologized and. Okay, but, well, but she got there. That's great. So I assume that means, let's see. So that means, I assume Tambe was the one that did not attend? Yes. Okay, all right. So it's Tambe, Tambe has stepped away from the program. Um, other five continue. Now, did did they did all five of them start a document? Because I've only seen three documents. Ah. Okay, and I didn't actually check that. That's okay. I'll send them a reminder. Yeah. Um, and they were. I think. I forget one of them had run into a problem. I think she misunderstood the instructions. We're wanting her credentials to install Jenkins or something or and one of the other people said, Oh, I ran into that too. It just it's your username and password for your laptop, not for Jenkins or something. So Oh, 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 I see. So But that was that was also nice that, you know, like they popped up and helped each other. The big request, um, we had, I remember a talk about a Slack channel. They would like a Slack channel. Yeah, and and we're still, so that's a good one. That's a valid request. Uh, it's a difficult one for me because the CDF registration process is still broken. Uh -huh. And they would be the ideal place. They would be the preferred place for Slack channel. Hmm. So we're um, Oleg has opened a request with them. So so hopefully that will help us. I will send mail out to everybody and update them. Uh, the short term, use Getter. Yeah. Or or email. I, asked, I haven't checked. I we were also agreed that they were all going to uh, go to Gitter and Great. Uh, post today, but I haven't checked to see if that's happened. Yeah, and I'd seen. Let's see. So let's maybe what we do is. So we've got the master document here. The the original document. There we go. Okay. And then we've got Onyinye's. And she submitted a uh, pull request. Uh -huh. And it's already getting good discussion. So that's, that's really cool. And 
we've got esters. Let's do Sharon's next. Sharon's document. And Esther's document. Okay. Oh, interesting. So Sharon is a mentee on the Jenkins X project. No, I think she's just mis that... misspoken. She's that's her way of saying on the Jenkins project. And she's trying to do a multiplication thing or a cross product. Okay. Because Jenkins X is not participating in She Code Africa, so she can't okay. be mentee there. All right. So in terms of did did you get did any of them share? Well, actually, you had obviously requested that they do the blog post because I've seen three of them. Right. And uh, uh, they've provided bios. Uh, two have provided pictures. The the one that's missing a picture just left my picture in there, and that that's very kind of her. But <laughs> perhaps she plans to come back and replace it. Yeah, and and the other is may, she may just say, "Hey, I don't want my picture posted," and that's okay too. Right. Uh, that's those. Though that is a very fair decision. I don't know the circumstances for each of these people. Right. Okay. So if we they um if they clone this document, do we automatically get notified and is it shared or do we have to tell them to explicitly share? We it? don't. I think they have to share it with us. Okay. And so they have to actively share it with us. And, and if they haven't yet, that's okay. We just ask, uh, ask them for it. Let me see what, okay. Yeah, on Yinye's, um, yes, it's explicitly shared with us by name. Yeah, and that's because I, I extended sharing that. to you and others. Okay, so what should we tell them to just share it to you and me or just to you or they so long as they share it to one of us the rest can be added added okay um so and you mentioned there was a misunderstanding on on the the installation i assume it was a windows installation so the installer prompted for a username and password yeah, and appear. It sounds like it used the word credentials. Yeah, prompted for a what it does is it prompts for a system account. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, with username and password, and while that's a best practice, it's a thing that's challenging for many Windows users because they're not accustomed to thinking of how do I configure a system account. Right, and I don't think they would use the term credentials. They might think of it as an admin account, not a system account. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, and that's a good point. It's. I got the feeling the word credentials had really thrown her, that that seemed like a very Jenkins thing, and she was looking for some sort of esoteric Jenkins. Uh, okay. Yeah, the other thing is, for me, it reminds that using the Windows installer can actually make it more difficult for a developer on a development Windows machine. Mm-hmm. The Windows installer does a good job of um, installing and configuring and maintaining, but then it's owned by the user that did the install, and that may not be the same user that's doing development. Right. More of a barrier. So, for instance, for me, I just I tend to run right from a command line Java minus jar. Ah, yeah. And I do that on Windows, Linux, et cetera. So it's not, it's not any different one platform or the other. That may be a side, because what, do we have two Windows people? At least two, yeah. I, one, I, I know one. Linux and a Mac. 
Yeah, and and that's that's great diversity as well because we we can benefit from having multiple multiple different environments already that they're using. Great. But it may it may be for your Friday session that that'll be something you can help the Windows people out to get a better right. environment. Okay. And. All right. So anything. Anything else that you want to want to share there? Uh, no, I, I did sort of record it. Um, where do we get the recording? How do I know that? I'll, or... I'll download the recording and upload it to the YouTube channel. Okay, and Lucy needs a recording for the kickoff meeting that she was unable to attend. Oh, good. And, and that's, so let me put a couple of action items there to remind me. That's very good. Mark, to upload recordings of previous meetings. Uh, so the mentoring session this morning. Oh, and I don't know actually if I've got access to the first meeting. Uh, we'll need to ask Zina because she did the recording of that. Ah, right. That was not something we did from from the Jenkins account. Oh, okay. But I can I can ask her for it, and then we can link it into the Jenkins YouTube channel. Okay. So I'm guessing I, one of them was still reading the document. I, I think a couple of them didn't get off to as quick a start as I had hoped, but mm -hmm. we'll see what happens this week. Hopefully they will pick up and when they, I'm thinking. That yeah, and, and I wasn't that, sure, given that we started them on a Friday, that is a public holiday in many countries. Yes. I'm not, I'm not and Monday could be a public holiday in many other countries. Right. So, so it's entirely possible that they've they've been on holiday the the whole time that we were in startup right right and it was okay so. and they did we probably in the future it would be good to say you know we kind of expect you to have this done by such and such a date do you see a problem or something right and yeah yeah that's i agree i there are a number of things like that also a launch meeting that has good instructions for them crisp already written yeah absolutely mm -hmm. but this is oh. pretty good we did okay for first time out yeah yep okay anything else on today's startup meeting i think that was it okay so had a, a new topic the plugin site ha is reporting reports oh here it is it's already listed no searches that return no results and the reason these are interesting is it tells us what users are seeking and not finding. Ah. And one of the top one is the TFS is TFS. That's the three letters they search for TFS. And what that means is team foundation server. And that's a plugin that has been removed from distribution because it doesn't have, it has a non open source component in it. Uh -huh. And, uh, but the TFS users are saying, hey, we need it back. We like this plugin. It also has two security issues and is known to be broken with Jenkins 2.277.1. So it has a number of issues, but we're hoping that someone will adopt it and resolve its issues. So we hope for, hoping for adoption from a one or more users that have access to TFS. Uh, most, most people in the Jenkins project don't have access to TFS. It's a Microsoft um, centralized version control system. Very powerful, but uh, not widely available. Okay. Next miss is this check style and PMD. And what we've got from there is Gavin Mogan has provided instructions Uh, to create to define synonyms in the search engine. Aha. Uh -huh. So what we'll do is we will make PMD and check style 
will be synonyms of warnings ng, which is a Jenkins plugin. Okay. Did we ever figure out why the search for code coverage or coverage didn't find that um, Junoko, Junoko plugin? No, that's another good question. So coverage search did not find, did it find anything? I don't remember if it found anything. Let's do a quick check because that's another good one to look at. So let's ask for coverage. This should find warnings NG, which it doesn't. Okay, so that one, it finds code coverage API, which is good. It really is. Mm -hmm. And and that one has Jococo support in it. So it's it's actually that's the coverage thing is okay as far as I can tell. But yeah. it should, I think it's still, although really the Jococo plugin is the old plugin. This uh -huh. one is, I think, outdated. And Oleg told me that the new thing is this is the coverage API. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I think the reason it wouldn't find Jococo plugin is it's superseded by coverage API and warnings ng. But if I go into the Jococo plugin, am I told that it's superseded and to go use the other? Uh, I don't think so. Let's check it. So Jococo, because it's still, I believe it's still being maintained. Last release was just two months ago. So we don't deprecate it, but we can, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, there is there is another way of doing the same thing, I guess, is a good way to describe it. Right. Okay, good. Anything else on search report from the plugins tie site? Not for me. All right. Blog post draft. So I've started that. Nothing much to say there. I've got to get extract the pictures from the two documents. We need more documents. We need more more background. I'll send a reminder today with a link to a proposed pull request. And upload recordings. And that's all that I had for today. That looks good to me. Where all are right. we with um the um the google summer uh, google season of docs Doc. is still in that's a good question google season of docs is still being uh, evaluated by google uh then the next deadline is let's see when is it I was thinking it was the, something's the 16th, I think, maybe the announcement of. So it is, right, project. April 16th. Yep, April 16th, they announce. We'll announce um, selected projects. The projects that have been selected. And we do have, we did have a, a request has been sent. For a proposed writer huh. that would like to uh, This is a person who's going through a a career change and is interested in writing using has, I think said 10 or 20 years of experience in technology, but is looking to switch to or in education and looking to switch to something a little different. Okay. So uh, continue recruiting and inviting writers to to ask to join that kind of thing. 
where do we do that? What sort of channels do we do that on? I haven't I haven't found good ones yet. So I think we would want to I, I need to so let's put it this way. Mark propose um, a plan for choosing the writer because right now I haven't done anything more than uh, think that we need to choose one, but I need to propose some criteria, et cetera, how we'll evaluate them, that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not ready for that to propose the plan yet. Yeah. Okay. That's what I had. Anything else, Meg? Not for me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this. And thanks very much. Okay, thank you.